How do you know when to use a list versus a tuple or a set? In this video, you'll learn the differences between these data types and understand when to use each one. Let's visualize the syntax differences between lists, tuples, and sets using a collection of four letters, A, B, C, and A again. To create a list from these letters, we wrap them in square brackets. To create a tuple from these letters, we wrap them in parentheses. And lastly, to create a set from these letters, we'll wrap the items in curly braces. Awesome! But notice that the set we just created contains the letter A only once. That's the first big difference between sets and the other two types of collections. Sets automatically drop duplicates, while lists and tuples keep them. This makes sets especially useful when we want to eliminate duplicate values from a collection. To see why, let's suppose we have a list of numbers and want to get only the unique values. We can do this by simply converting the list into a set, which automatically filters out the repeated values. Then, if we want to work with a list again, we can simply cast the set back into a list. Another key difference is that sets are unordered, while lists and tuples are ordered. In an ordered collection, each item has a position, also called an index. Assigning the list and tuple to a variable, we can use indexes to access any of the items. Sets, on the other hand, are unordered, which means its items are not assigned a position or index. If we assign our set to a variable and try to index it, we get an error. Awesome! Now that we've compared sets to lists and tuples, let's look at what makes lists and tuples different from each other. The key difference between lists and tuples is whether the collection can be modified after it's created, a trait called mutability. Lists are mutable, meaning you can modify them after creating them. Tuples, on the other hand, are immutable. Once you create them, you cannot change them. For example, we can call the append method to add the letter D to our list. We can call the remove method to delete the letter B from our list. Or we can update items in the list by reassigning their values at a specific position. Tuples, on the other hand, are immutable. They don't support methods like append or remove. And if we try to update an item in a tuple by reassigning it, we get an error. So what exactly is the point of creating an immutable collection? That seems quite limiting. Well, the immutability of tuples is actually quite powerful in situations where keeping your data safe from accidental changes is more important than flexibility. For example, let's say we want to store a friend's birthday in our program. Because a birthday is a piece of information that shouldn't change once it's assigned, storing this type of information in a tuple is a good idea. It helps protect the data and prevents it from being accidentally modified later in the program. Finally, sets are like lists. They can be modified after they are created. In particular, we can add new items to a set using the add method, and we can remove items using the remove method just like with lists. But since sets are unordered and don't have indexes, we can't directly update a specific item. Instead, to change an item in a set, for example, the letter B to the letter D, we remove the unwanted B and append the new D. Great, we've now explored three different ways to store collections in Python, lists, tuples, and sets. Each has its own properties, and the appropriate collection depends on the needs of your program. By far, lists are the most commonly used type of collection. They allow duplicates, are ordered, and are modifiable after creation. Tuples and sets are less common, but are useful in specific situations. 
Tuples are similar to lists, since they also allow duplicates and are ordered. The difference is that tuples are not modifiable after creation. This makes them great for storing data that should not change during a program. Lastly, sets can be modified after creation. But unlike lists and tuples, they don't allow duplicate items and are not ordered. Sets are ideal when we want to store unique items. Awesome! Now you understand the differences between lists, tuples, and sets in Python. If you want to practice what you've learned, check out the notebook linked in the description. We're working on lots more videos like this one, so be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss out. If you have any questions or topics that you'd like to learn about, let us know in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching!